Hi, it's Katrina. From teeth that turn into warns to fish with bizarrely human-like chompers and deer with vampire fangs, here are 13 creatures with the strangest teeth. Number 13. Leatherback Sea Turtle Take a look at this. Leatherback turtles are pretty awesome, but did you know that their mouth looked like this? If you see them in the water, they are one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures you'll ever find. But the giant leatherback sea turtle hides a secret you'll rarely see. It's terrifying mouth and throat. It is the largest species of turtle and the third largest reptile in the world, so it needs to eat a lot to survive. Sea turtles have quite a specific diet, and practically the only animals that they eat are jellyfish. As you can imagine, they're pretty slippery prey to grab onto, which is why the turtle's mouth has evolved to be like this. Their scissor-like jaws could be damaged by eating anything else. They have hundreds of giant spikes known as papillae that line the turtle's throat all the way down to its gut. These backward-facing papillae ensure that any jellyfish that enters is unable to float back out of its mouth, and the esophagus even loops around the stomach to further ensure that there's no escape. While this mouth is undoubtedly terrifying, it's also part of the reason why leatherback turtles are an endangered species. They are unable to tell the difference between jellyfish and plastic bags, where one provides a nutritional meal and the other blocks the throat, leading to choking and most likely death. Sorry for the dark fact, but it is very true. Number 12. Crab Eater Seal Native to Antarctica's coastline and pack ice zone, the crab eater seal grows up to 8.5 feet long and weighs between 440 and 660 pounds. But the strangest thing about it are its teeth. They look almost like mythical weapons with lots of curves and edges. It has unique sieve or buzzsaw-like teeth, which are considered the most specialized of any predator. They look like they're capable of shredding a fairly sizable victim. But funnily enough, 95% of their main diet is krill. Krill are small crustaceans that are found all over the world. The crab eater seal uses its ferocious looking chompers, which have extra projections for filtering krill in a similar way to how baleen whales use their baleen. It eats by sucking in water, closing its jaws, and expelling the water while trapping krill in its teeth. This nocturnal feeder spends up to 16 hours at a time searching for food, often making hundreds of dives in a single hunt and plunging to depths of up to 1,410 feet. Oh, and did I mention? Despite its name, the crab eater seal does not eat crabs. Number 11. The Nutria Thanks to its teeth, the Nutria is taking over the world. The Nutria, also called the Koipu or the River Rat, is a semi-aquatic South American rodent that has become an invasive species on nearly every continent. You may think it's a rat, but it's not. Fur trappers and farmers brought them to Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America during the late 19th and early 20th centuries to raise them for their pelts and as a method of weed control. They eat everything! Since then, they escaped becoming hats and muffs and feral populations have flourished to the point of becoming out of control in some places. These pesky rodents have prominent, bright orange teeth. Why orange? It is caused by their enamel, which contains iron. The pigment turns their teeth orange, but also makes their teeth tougher, so they can gnaw and chew more easily. They have 20 teeth total, and their wide incisors never stop growing. Offspring are born with white teeth, which eventually match the freakishly vivid hue the creature is known for. Their tang-colored teeth help them to destroy habitats effectively, as they will eat both roots and stems. And they need to eat a lot, a quarter of their weight daily. Nutria reproduce up to three times annually, and birth litters of up to 13 offspring. Not only do they make lots of babies, they're terrible for most ecosystems despite being herbivores due to their disruptive status as a non-native species. They have become a major problem in Louisiana since they cause major erosion by chomping down on vegetation holding together wetland soil. In Louisiana alone, overgrazing nutria directly contributed to the conversion of 26,800 acres of marshland into open water between 2001 and 2016. Number 10. Babirusa The Babirusa is a wild pig that is native to the rainforest swamps of Indonesia. It's about 3 feet long, 2 feet tall, and weighs 220 pounds on average. There are four species of Babirusa, whose name means pig deer in the Malay language. The most unique among these species is the North Sulawesi Babirusa, which is famous for the strange upper tusks males have. Throughout their lives, male Babirusa's canine teeth grow continuously, much like humans' fingernails and hair. The result is a pair of long lower tusks and distinctively curled upper tusks 
that have forced their way through the upper jaw. These top tusks will begin penetrating the animal's skin if they're not worn down or broken off during fights with other males. They can even grow into the back of the skull, reaching up to a foot long. Nobody knows for sure what the purpose of the tusks are and why they grow so much as to poke them in the face. One hypothesis suggests that they're used for fighting over females, while another argues that they protect the babirusa's face from its opponent's sharp lower canines. But babirusas do not usually use their tusks for fighting because they're too fragile and brittle. Instead, the animals rise to their hind legs and use their front hooves to box each other. And now for a terrorizing invasive species. But first, remember to let me know which one you think is the strangest in the comments below. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already to join the Origins Explained family. Number 9. Sea Lamprey The sea lamprey is an ancient parasitic fish native to the Atlantic Ocean. It's present within all the Great Lakes as an invasive species where it wreaks havoc on naturally occurring fish populations. This cartilaginous creature grows between 12 and 20 inches long and weighs between 8 and 13 ounces. It has a suction cup-like mouth filled with 11 or 12 rows of sharp, pointy teeth arranged in concentric circles, which it uses to latch onto prey. There are always new teeth growing under the old ones. Then it rips the fish's flesh away using its rough tongue and feasts on the creature's blood and other bodily fluids. The sea lamprey saliva contains an anticoagulant, which prevents the prey's blood from clotting. Over the course of its lifetime, one sea lamprey kills around 40 pounds or more of fish. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Oceans Canada spend millions of dollars every year working to monitor and control the sea lamprey population throughout the Great Lakes. While attacks on humans are not that common, if they are very hungry, they will come after you, so beware their creepy teeth. Number 8. Vampire Fish The payara, or vampire fish of South America, dwells in the Amazon basin throughout Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. It grows between 2 and 3 feet long and weighs between 10 and 35 pounds. This carnivorous species is perhaps best known for the long, curved fangs that stick out from its lower jaw. These frightening ice pick-like teeth range in length from 4 to 7 inches. Payaras are born with holes in their lower jaw, which the long, thin fangs will someday fill. They're vicious hunters with no known predators who purposely clear the water of other medium and large fish by chasing them away for the sole purpose of being able to hunt the fish they're interested in eating, including piranhas. Payaras are agile and fast swimmers who are capable of moving efficiently through choppy waters. They don't play well with others or with each other and are solitary creatures who typically only interact for mating purposes. Luckily for us humans, there are no documented instances of a payara attacking a person although they will certainly defend themselves against fishermen who catch them. Researchers know relatively little about this aggressive and largely understudied species, including what its reproductive cycle is like. Number 7. Tufted Deer The tufted deer is pretty and kind of creepy at the same time. The tufted deer lives in China's damp mountainous forests at altitudes between 1,600 to 14,800 feet. It's named for the reddish clump of hair that grows on its forehead. This solitary species is smaller than most deer, growing between 20 and 28 inches tall and 43 to 63 inches long. Even more unusual than its size are the male's long vampire-like lower canine teeth, which can grow up to an inch long. Unlike other deer who rely largely on their antlers to defend their territory, the tufted deer uses its teeth to stake its territorial claims and when fighting over females. This is because its teeth are much more useful than its antlers, which are mere spikes protruding from their forehead. While a fight typically starts with two males butting their antlers against each other, one eventually loses their balance, giving its opponent an opportunity to pounce on it and bare their fangs. From there on out, may the best deer win usually the one with the biggest fangs. Number 6. Sheep's Head Fish The sheep's head fish has eerie, human-like teeth that haven't been to the dentist in a while and might need some braces. The sheep's head fish is a common species in North and South America that lives as far north as Massachusetts, with its range extending down into the Gulf of Mexico and Brazil. Their teeth do look pretty clean though, don't they? They have multiple rows of molars behind their front teeth, which helps them grind up food as they chew. They eat an omnivorous diet of barnacles, plants, and crushed-shelled prey, such as oysters, barnacles, and crabs. Much like with human children, the molars grow in as they get older. Unlike humans, on the other hand, the musculature of the jaw improves throughout their entire lives, and fish who live near an abundance of shelled prey will therefore have greater jaw-crushing power. 
fishermen have observed specimens with jaws capable of breaking metal fish hooks in half. Fun fact, the Sheep's Head Bay neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York was named after this species, although it is rarely found that far north anymore. The greatest concentration of fish is around southwest Florida. Since they can sometimes get to 20 pounds as adults, they are a common target for fishermen, and I guess they are pretty tasty. Number 5. Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats are native to the deserts of East Africa and are strange for numerous reasons. For one, these homely rodents are more closely related to porcupines, chinchillas, and guinea pigs than either moles or rats. They are also the only mole rat species that is virtually hairless. They live in underground burrows, piling together to share body heat when cool temperatures set in. The creature's teeth are just as strange as their wrinkly pink bodies. They can independently operate each of their protruding two front teeth like chopsticks. The naked mole rat's teeth are attached on the outside of their lips to prevent dirt from entering their mouth as they burrow. Besides having big teeth, these unsightly animals possess strong jaws, which constitute about one quarter of their muscle mass. This enables them to dig through hard-packed soil and to chow down on the underground roots and tubers of plants that make up the majority of their diet. Number 4. Promacoteuthis sulcus squid Promacoteuthis sulcus represents the world's rarest known squid species. Researchers know about it based on one specimen and are yet unsure whether the one-inch creature is an adult or a juvenile, male or female. It possesses what looks like a human set of teeth on its underside, but this is actually a set of lips folded over its beak. A German research vessel accidentally captured the specimen in recent years in the South Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Tristan da Cunha, roughly 1,500 miles from South Africa. This deep-sea dweller lived at a depth of approximately 6,650 feet. Despite its slightly horrifying appearance, it is harmless to humans. Researchers believe it eats small fish and crustaceans, much like other cephalopods, but they admittedly don't know much about the animal, including its habits and lifespan. And while laypersons are fascinated by the squid's denture-like teeth, scientists are more interested in understanding its irregular body proportions and ratio to its tentacles. Number 3. Parrotfish There are about 60 species of brightly colored parrotfish throughout the world's coral reefs. Their parrot-like appearance can be attributed to their beak-like plates, which are formed by roughly 1,000 fused teeth arranged in 15 cemented rows. New teeth continuously emerge from the soft tissue as old ones become worn and fall out. The teeth are made of a material called fluorapatite. It's the second hardest biomineral in the world, containing calcium, fluorine, phosphorus, and oxygen. Fluorapatite is harder than copper, silver, and gold, with a score of 5 on the Mohs hardness scale. In addition to being incredibly tough, the parrotfish's teeth apply 530 tons of pressure per square inch. The fish uses its teeth for eating hard coral, grinding it into a fine sand in the process. In just one year, a single parrotfish can produce hundreds of pounds of sand. A 2017 study by scientists from the Department of Energy's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory revealed that parrotfish are equipped with a chainmail-like interwoven microstructure that makes their teeth extra resilient and gives them their impressive bite strength. Number 2. Narwhal Nicknamed the Unicorn of the Sea, the narwhal is a porpoise that dwells in Arctic coastal waters and rivers. It grows between 13 and 20 feet long with males sprouting a spiral tusk measuring up to almost 9 feet long. This sword-like appendage is one of the animal's two teeth and grows straight through its upper lip. Females sometimes grow a smaller, less prominent tusk. Researchers are unsure what the tusk is used for, but many believe it has something to do with mating. It could be for battling rivals or for attracting females. Another possibility is that narwhals use their tusks for hunting by stunning their prey with a firm tusk tap before seizing them. They may also use their tusks to detect temperature and sound. Over time, many narwhals lose their tusks, which explains the many legends revolving around their elusive nature. A narwhal's second tooth occasionally grows into a new tusk. This overgrown tooth is unique because it has up to 10 million nerve endings on the outside and is very sensitive, essentially making it an inside-out tooth. It's flexible and is soft on the outside with a hardened inside and can bend up to a foot in any direction. Number 1. California Purple Sea Urchin They're the last thing you want to step on as you walk around the ocean floor, but sea urchins aren't just dangerous because of their spines, they also have a frightening set of teeth. California purple sea urchins spend their lives in rocky tide pools where they constantly grind and scrape with their teeth against the rock to form gaps that they can use to hide away from predators. Essentially, they are eating through the stone. This behavior is unusual enough, 
But what makes them truly remarkable is that their teeth never get blunt. In fact, they are able to keep their teeth razor sharp at all times. The reason for this is that each tooth has a crystalline structure and is always growing. There are certain weaknesses in this structure which dictate where they will break, which means that they will form a sharp edge. Luckily, an urchin's mouth is quite small, so we probably don't need to worry, but if a small finger were to find its way near, it would cause a nasty injury. This self-sharpening trick used by the sea urchin could be used by scientists to make tools that never need sharpening. It is one of the very few structures in nature that self-sharpen. Isn't that cool? Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. See you later! Bye!